Hey and welcome to Flambeau's packing vlog. This is for the Paris trip. This is everything we took to Paris minus his blanket because I just forgot to film that part. When traveling internationally, I tend to bring more stuff than needed as you'll see in this video, but we're able to pack it all in this bag. This is a diaper bag sauce backpack from Amazon. It has a lot of storage to keep things organized and somehow I'm able to fit everything in it. The front pocket has three little compartments that are, I believe, used for bottles, but we use it for dog stuff. The side pocket is just a regular pocket. The other side pocket is the same, except it has a little zipper for quick access. Inside it has its clip with, I don't have a child so I don't know what it's used for, but I store poop bags and his travel water bowl. Inside is very deep. Each side has a little pocket. There's a little zipper pocket in the back and up top. And you can access the bottom from the back. The most important thing we take with us is his travel documents. I take his microchip card, I take his international health certificate, which is a very long process and quite a hassle. You have to get it within 10 days of your travel, and due to COVID, you can't just drive it to the USDA to get stamped. You have to mail it in, and this came about 12 hours before we flew to Paris, so uh, the stress was real with this one. I also take his regular thought records just because, as well as a copy of his rabies, even though there is one on this health certificate. I would rather have too many documents than something to go wrong. Nope. And I throw it all in this binder from Dollar Tree. The front is clear with a zipper, and that's where I keep his documents. Then we have giving supplies. I have a paw washer because you're not always going to have a place where you can bathe your dog, but this will at least help keep their feet clean because dog feet can get dirty. And they're working on concrete and you know you never know next is breast spray because you should never brush a dog dry then a slicker brush and my favorite a pin brush which we normally use slicker we really only use for his feet and if he's getting a mat next up is goggles we ended up not needing this at all but he has a clear goggles and sunglasses because dogs eyes need to be protected too these are from Amazon and honestly, Flambeau really likes them. The shape is really good for his head. And I've had no issues with them, which is surprising because they are cheaper. Next up, we have his raincoat, which he did have to use a pair of. It did rain a couple days while we were there for the two weeks. We have his, I call it his fed protector coat. This is for Ubers or anything, just to be extra nice to not get dog hair everywhere. And of course his booties, which Blambo did wear quite a bit with apparently dogs never wear shoes in Europe and everyone loved it. Everyone took photos of him wearing shoes. It was very, very cute. Blambo wears these just to protect his feet. We walked on a lot of asphalt every single day and it's just to keep his feet protected. Then we have toys, which York is helping to sew off. We only brought three toys with us because, well, Flamer has clear favorites. We had a tennis ball, which this is not the original tennis ball. Unfortunately, it broke where we were there, but we got that one in Paris. This is a rope toy, but it's not really rope. It's different fabrics braided, so it's a lot safer for your dog. And then, of course, the infamous bunny. Then we have leases. We have his regular lease, which is a hands-free lease. My favorite go-to lease is from Amazon. We have a regular slip lead, which is a backup just-in-case lease. We have a flexi, and the only reason I would ever use a flexi is because I do have health problems, and some days it is hard for me to walk. And in case we couldn't find a place for him to run and play, it was just so he could get exercise if I was having a bad day. And then we took a halty. Flambo doesn't normally use a halty, but because big dogs have to be muzzled on public transportation in Paris, we took it and they had no problem with us using that. Then we have the food-related items. 
New York and Esbjorn were very excited to help out with this part. First we have this mat which is actually a changing mat. It came with the backpack and I use it at Airbnb to put his food and water bowls on. Then we have this waterproof bag which I use to put kibble in. It helps keep it protected and because I didn't know where to get dog food there and if they'd have our dog food, I brought my own. Then we have a travel water bowl. I had a couple of these for food and water. Here's the Costa Quinn. And then we brought lots and lots of treats then we have, we'll call them sanitary products. We brought pee pads for the flight. He was allowed by the airline to use pee pads on the plane. And then we have poop bags, which you can never bring too many. I brought, I think, six rolls total. Because it's better to have too many than not enough. One thing that we didn't sew is that I did bring shoes as well for him to enjoy. I try to stick with um, non-smelly ones that are not too soft and not too hard. So that way no one has to deal with the noise and no one has to deal with the um, smell they don't like. Now you're probably wondering how I fit everything into this bag and it's actually not that difficult. I'm going to stop talking now and I will let you guys watch me pack. <laughs> 